Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sasa Assassin. As you requested, today we are gonna smoke Gurkha Titan. Every single day. Today we're gonna smoke Perdomo Habano BBA Maduro and um I think this is Toro size. I mean no actually it's a Robusto. It's a little thicker than a regular Robusto, so yeah. And we're gonna try this one. Uh it says BBA because it's bourbon barrel aged, so it's kinda like you know fit into a thing that I've been drink uh smoking like bourbon barrel aged kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll give this a try. And um, <clears throat> this has been sitting in my humidor probably a little bit more than a year. Oh, it smells really good. You can smell the sweetness of uh, of the, like the cedary woodiness. I know this whole thing is Nicaraguan, and but it's like Habano Maduro, but it's actually just Nicaraguan and Nicaraguan Maduro. So I can get a little bit of spiciness in the nose too. And um, yeah, I'm gonna cut it and I'm, I'm gonna get it going. I do have. I'm so behind on my toy stuff, so I'm gonna do this while I smoke today. Because, <laughs> like, I, I have so many behind bad luck. So, I'm gonna smoke and I'm gonna do that and I tell you how I feel like Because this is one of those uh, medium, medium plus strength cigars. So, you gotta take your time to smoke. I'm just gonna take my time on it. Good draw. I like this kind of draw. Really loose. When I get a really loose draw, you get that. How do I call it? Uh, the, the enjoyment of getting a lot of smoke really quickly in your mouth without you know working too hard. I, I tend to get sicker uh, on tough draw cigars because you tend to draw on that dry or soot tobacco and it gets you sick. So you know this is gonna be a good one. Immediately, you get this uh, woodsy sweetness to it. It still lingers with the wood, a lot of wood. My saliva is filled with that. A little bit of chili spice, but a lot of wood. A lot of wood, but sweet. It's the. Uh, and cedars coming in. Cedars coming in. Uh, oak. Very aged, nice woodsiness is going through and chili pepper there's definitely chili pepper in there it's not a lot but it's there but you get a lot of wood right off the bat it's just a little bit on the corner I don't think it's burning good enough I'm gonna get it so that it's even Much better. Let's get a little bit more coffee on it too. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smoke. You get probably I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'll probably fast forward this part instead of cutting it. So you know that you know the how I go about smoking it is that I will smoke and I'll do something and I come back to it. So it's kind of like a behind the scene kind of thing. But you'll see me smoking, and we'll fast forward from this point. I'll see you in a few seconds.
All right, I would say that's about one third through. Very, very enjoyable cigar. Okay, it's a lot of wood, but the, all the wood notes are very sweet, and uh, the pepper come in and out. It's not always that I notice the pepper as I smoke it. The retro hill is very pleasant. Retro hill just go comes out. Uh, you get the sweet wood. You get coffee. I'm not talking about espresso coffee, just regular coffee. But the wood notes kind of made that coffee notes come to be a really pleasant, um, smooth, enjoyable coffee. Almost like, you know, it's like, you know, when you make a wood smoke whiskey, it's like that, but with coffee. So very enjoyable, uh, even though there is a level of strength on this this is it is a medium plus but because I you know only smoke it non continuously like you know put it down take it up put it down take it up it becomes a very relaxing smoke and it's very very good so first third great great and I, I've smoked a lot of different uh, like you know whiskey infused bourbon infused or not not infused but aged cigars this is one of the one that's actually quite pleasant to smoke it's just nice and smooth and uh, the notes are not bitter at all and it's just overall an enjoyment so yeah I'll continue as I go I probably have to uh, bring the bend down a little bit first because I probably won't notice I didn't even remember that there's a cigar in front of me when I was trying to pick up stuff on the floor earlier it just literally just fall down to the ground so yeah uh, I'm gonna remove the bend and continue to smoke it and we'll see how it is on the second half and by the way the bend is super cool the band is super cool. And the one talking about like, you know, when it comes to decoration, decoration is very important. I just take one second to show you guys the band. See how shiny that is, all the color and everything. Uh, there is the non-BBA version, which is all white, but this is, this is, they took quite a bit of effort, right? They took quite a bit of effort. See that? They took quite a bit of effort to make this nice and, um, and good. So, it's a lion. Yeah, it's a lion at the bottom too. So yeah definitely gets uh, it's my liking of kind of like decoration so yeah I'll continue
All right, I'm back because uh, it's just about almost over with the second third. The strength picked up just a tad, but because I wasn't smoking the whole time, I'm okay with it. The little bit burn issue because it's not going straight. It could be because I dropped it earlier, but it's not too much of a problem for me to smoke it. So in terms of enjoyment, a lot of enjoyment. This is really good. This you can go with bourbon. You can go with soda. You can go with anything. It will be smooth. I mean, it could be because it's sitting in my humidor for a while, but it's smooth. It's nice. Other than the burn issue, which I constantly had to kind of touch it up. It's very smooth. A lot of oak, a lot of cedar, uh, but it's a smooth kind. It's a smooth kind that you can just enjoy a little bit at a time. Uh, it's kind of like coffee goes in and out. It's not always have that, that coffee flavor. It's definitely an enjoyable cigar. Like I almost had to keep my eye on it to see how much I have smoked because I, I'm afraid that I was going to forget to kind of tell you guys my experience. But so far, uh, very enjoyable cigar. The strength, if you take your time, doesn't bother you at all. Does not bother you at all. Very, very good cigar. I actually like the cigar. This is a really good cigar. Mine is the burn issue, but again, burn issue doesn't gotta, it's not gonna bother me all that much because lighter is just right in front of me. Touch up a little bit isn't gonna change much for me. Flavor, very consistent. It's kind of like the mellow kind, yet it's there. It's just enough, I think. It's, but if you like those like power punch, it's not here. All right. The pepper pretty much phased out. I don't even notice it anymore. In terms of uh, lingering, the flavor does linger and it's actually really good linger. It's not like so much in your mouth that I had to take a sip of soda to clean it out. No, it lingers and it goes away very seamlessly, very seamlessly. So yeah, very good cigar. I'm gonna smoke this all the way to the end of it. So I'll continue to do what I do and uh, I'll give you guys a final thought in this and um, we'll go with that, we'll go with that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm on the last third because you know I wasn't paying too much attention. So, uh, last little bit left before it gets to my fingers, and uh, you know I don't usually go to the knob. Last a little bit, a lot of coffee. So literally just convert to mostly coffee. A little bit of oakiness, a little bit of that barrel uh, wood char uh, charcoalness 
uh, if there was a, uh, what we call it, just burnt uh, uh, chuck, uh, oak uh, and barrel and coffee. It's literally very enjoyable, nice stick. I wouldn't do this for the morning because the, the strength and uh, you're, you're rushing to work and all that, you wouldn't make sense to do that. It's really good for relaxation. You've seen what I do when I relax and just want to smoke and do what I usually do. Um, a lot of time I actually will be reading uh, documents and, and stuff like that, but right now I don't have to do that, which is great, which is great. That's why I love to do. Uh, I just kind of simply finish uh, uh, part of my little modeling project and stuff like that. So very enjoyable. It make the cigar uh, last longer, longer than I usually smoke. You know, this is more than an hour. Uh, uh, why I go on and off on it. So uh, it, it's really, really, really good. Burn issue? But is it that big of an issue for me? Not really, because I know I was going slow at it. Chances are you're going to have some sort of burn issue goes off and all that stuff. Very, very normal. So what do you usually do when you're relaxing and just having your coffee or having your drink with your cigar? What else do you do? Do you read? Do you... Uh, uh, do things like me what do you serve the internet what do you do leave in the comment below so that i know what you like to do when you're just enjoying a little good cigar on your hand on one of the weekends i'd love to know what you do anyways for this cigar uh if i was to score them it would be a high point because it was enjoyable construction wasn't too bad a little bit burn issue which doesn't bother me that much flavor is great Flavor is great. I mean, usually I'm towards Nicaraguan uh, type of smoke because that's the flavor I love. Um, there may be a little bit earthiness in there, but I can't really tell because I, I get this predominantly uh, wood, coffee, and some pepper, some chili pepper maybe. And, and very enjoyable for me. So I highly recommend this cigar. If you have a few, uh, I would. You know, recommend this cigar and because I left it in my humidor for quite a bit it might be why this cigar is so enjoyable because uh, some of the taste might have mellowed out and that brings out the, 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 the taste that I like yeah it's totally dying which I just light, light again just to finish this up but anyways I hope you enjoyed this weird review because i want to kind of give you guys uh, like a little bit of behind the scenes what i do when i review cigars like i'll smoke i'll do what i do and then i'll come back and i'll record uh again and i just, just figured out you guys wonder like what do you guys do when you record and what's in between what's in between well what's in between is you that do something that i enjoy so that i can enjoy the cigar i wouldn't want to do something that's too stressful where uh, the cigar's flavor might be affected by your mood. My mood while I was doing stuff is pretty good. So yeah, again, leave uh, in the comment below what you like to do when you're smoking. You know, what, what, what kind of smoke situation do you like the most? I'd love to know. And uh, if you like this uh, review, make sure to check back uh, to see some other reviews. And so yeah, today we, we reviewed the Podomo Habano BBA uh, Maduro. Love the decoration. This is really good. This is one of the, the kind of the wrap uh, band that I would like to save because it's so shiny and all, all that stuff. So yeah, that's it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like the review, there are better reviewers than me. Uh, so check out Martina Maya's review. Pretty good review uh, all the time. And then we have uh, uh, Bob the Cigar Guy review. Pretty cool. And he's got some really funny video recently. That you have to watch it. You'll laugh your ass off. Okay. If you like Shadow Smokers Legion, make sure to look for another member to invite you in. We're a very, very positive group, and uh, you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of fun uh, being the group and good conversations and stuff like that. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. I'll find another cigar to review. If you want me to review some different cigars, let me know which one. Just anything. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. See. Bye, guys.